Welcome to another AutoSofted utility demonstration and today we'll be showing you the AutoSofted text doc compare utility which allows you to compare two different text files or two different document files up to Word version 2003. So dot docs will work but dot docx will not work. So if you have a dot docx, just convert it to a dot doc and use it in the file. Anyway, first let's run the program. So here's the GUI of the program. Um, all you have to do is simply select two files and click compare and that's all you have to do. So for the first file let's go to let's do day summary one and for the second file let's do day summary two. And if you look in day summary one and two you'll see that this is how it looks like on notepad. Pretty simple. You can compare you know text files of a lot more words too but anyway. So now that I've selected both um, text documents and remember dot docs work too but for this purpose I'm just using dot txt. And then click compare, and that's all. So now you uh, see all the lines on both files. They're displayed on both windows here. And every time a change is detected, the line gets highlighted. So right here we see the dog we spotted at school is brown, and it's highlighted. And right here we see the dog we spotted at school is brown, or the cat. So the difference here is that this is dog, this is cat. And I'll even tell you in the info console down here, the change. So right here it says file number one contains the word dog as seen on line one. While file number two does not contain that word. And you know, the rest of the changes are like July 12th, and this is July 13th. This says, oh, this has the word important here, and this one doesn't have the word important before errands. This one says happy birthday to Elizabeth, this one says happy birthday to Sarah. And all the changes, like I said, are just displayed right here. You can even filter your results to only show changes that occurred on one file, like file one, or show only changes that occurred on file two. So here it only shows file number two changes. And if there's too many changes, and you know, this window right here only shows three at a time, so it's kind of small, just click pop up. And you'll see an extra window showing you all the changes. You can also double click on one of these changes to jump to that line, but right now it's not going to do that because we can see all our lines anyway. So, yeah, thanks for viewing.